Allogeneic stem cell transplantation plays an increasingly important role in the management of fit adults with acute myeloid leukemia. And uh, despite that, uh, treatment options for patients who relapse after a transplant remain very limited. Uh, up to 60% of patients will relapse after a transplant, and for many of them there, um, uh, uh, life expectancy can be numbered in, in months. So there's clearly a, an urgent requirement for new salvage treatments because if patients can achieve a second remission, then they can have uh, quite encouraging long-term survival if given DLI or in selected patients a second transplant. Uh, until very recently, the only salvage uh, option was intensive chemotherapy, which was clearly uh, very toxic and often ineffectual. Uh, we published with the EBMT a large series of about 170 patients who received azacitidine as an outpatient of salvage therapy and, and observed that it was broadly tolerable and about 20% of patients went into CR. So mindful of the fact that there's a real importance of getting that CR rate up, we uh, initiated a, a, a trial called Viola, which was to combine lenalidomide, a drug with inherent anti-leukemic activity, but also an ability to upregulate the uh, uh, T-cell activity um, in combination with azacitidine. And there was a particular concern about this study when we started out uh, in terms of possible safety uh, because lenalidomide, when given after transplant, has previously been associated with excessively high rates of graft-versus-host disease, even using very low doses of 5 or 10 milligrams. We therefore wanted to be using a statistical design that allowed us to define the maximum tolerated dose as safely and as effectively as possible, and that's called a continuous reassessment model. And uh, using that model, we were able to demonstrate in the Viola trial that, in fact, contrary to previous expectation, quite high doses of lenalidomide were well tolerated post-transplant, up to 25 milligrams. There was very little GVHD, and the combination was broadly well tolerated. And uh, to our great interest, about almost 50% of patients achieved the CR. So this is a strikingly uh, effective and well-tolerated combination in this small dose finding study. And we now believe that uh, there's a grounds for pushing ahead with a randomized trial, which we're planning against uh, intensive chemotherapy, uh, and also for utilizing what appears to be well-tolerated in patients at high risk of morphological relapse, people with emergence of MRD, or even possibly patients with very high risk disease are using it as a maintenance strategy.